I've added a new extension to my Chrome browser. It works on all Chromium-based browsers. I've also added this to Microsoft's Edge browser, which is also Chromium-based. And it allows me to have voice input when I'm using ChatGPT. My typing isn't the greatest. And with this, I don't have to type. I just talk. But as it says here, you need to use ChatGPT in order for this extension to do you any good. And when you select that extension, if you're not in ChatGPT, this is an easy way by clicking on ChatGPT to get to ChatGPT. The other nice thing is, once it's been installed, you no longer need to open the browser at all if you have ChatGPT pinned to your taskbar, as I have. So all I need to do is from the taskbar is open up a new chat, and once it opens, you'll notice I now have a microphone at the bottom. So my input, once I select this, will be through the mic. So let's put this to the test. We'll select the mic. How can I use voice input to control chat GPT? As an AI language model, I don't have the capability to directly receive voice input. However, there are various voice recognition and transcription tools available that can convert your voice input into text, which you can then use to interact with me. Here are the general steps you can follow to use voice input to control me. Use a device that has a microphone, such as a smartphone or computer, and make sure it's connected to the internet. Open a voice recognition or transcription app on your device. Examples include Google Assistant, Siri, or Dragon Dictation. Activate the voice recognition or transcription app and start speaking your commands to it. For example, you could say, Hey Google, ask ChatGPT to tell me a joke or Hey Siri, open ChatGPT and ask it to explain the concept of quantum mechanics. The voice recognition or transcription app will convert your spoken commands into text and send them to ChatGPT. You can then view my responses on your device's screen or through text-to-speech output. It's worth noting that the accuracy of voice recognition and transcription can vary depending on various factors such as ambient noise, accent, and speech clarity. So, it may take some practice and adjustment to get the best results. So, as you just found out, not only does it work to use my voice, but with this extension, it's also given back to you through its own voice. One little extension that satisfies two things, voice input and voice output. Give it a try. It's important to know this does not turn off typing. You can still type, you can still copy, you can still paste. It just gives you an additional function of using your voice instead of typing if that's what you choose to do. Let me know what you think of it. Stay safe, stay secure. I hope this helps.